playing against a Tom Kent. She's playing Flash TP, Grass Precision. Um, they have a Mordekaiser jungle. We have a Hecarim jungle. Both are playing with Ghost. Both kind of need their level 6 before their ganks really make a difference. So we're mainly playing in isolation here against the Tom Kench. Now what's important to know about Tom Kench? He has a shit ton of sustain. His Q, whenever he lands it, sustains him. He has Grass... Pro gas proc... Grass proc sustain him. He is probably on a D shoot or second or a D shoot and second wind and or bone plating, right? So it's a lot of sustain. The l the thing that he lacks is wave clear. So whenever I play with means, I'm always gonna be good. Level one, I could trade with the Tom Kench equal health trades. So that's why I'm gonna go for long term three. And the thought process by me going long term three is if I full trade into the Tom Kench level one. And let's say we both lose an equal amount of HP. I'm gonna have three potions compared to him having one. Yes, he does have the sustain edge, but that's why I got three potions so I can kind of match that, and it's gonna allow me to get priority as well. Now, Mordecai does not have flash. So what I like to do against a lot of early game junglers, or weak early game junglers, but especially flashes junglers, is I pep like this and I'll Q delay. And then I'll go over the wall and see if I can spot this piggy. Because very often they will defending here. This time it's not here, but very often you see them defending here. <clears throat> Yo, Rafa, they were prime as well. They were seven and Christ scored. Uh, 1995. They were two one as well. I didn't notice either of them. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for this uh, for the support, bro. I appreciate it immensely. Where's your Korea ribbon service and with a piggy? Last time was 64% with a red green challenger. I can trade. Okay, so this is an equal health trade, but I have three potions. He has one potion, so I'm alright with that. Now Tom Cage is either gonna path like this or path like this. So I'm gonna kind of take the flip here. I can see him path like this if he goes here, probably. So I'm gonna stand here. CB Fish X here. Okay, he's not here. Then I'll be standing here. CB Fish X me. There he is. You guys know who a good coach is? And the game is I'm over, guys. Beast. The game is over. That guy is Just good. again before level 1. Rest, thank you for giving Path Jetty. Now I'm gonna zone my opponent from the first 3 minutes worth of XP. Dodge the Q. Okay, I got the mean aggro, but I just want to zone the Tom Kench from the first 3 minutes worth of XP, guys. XP is not much harder than gold. He might get that one, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna drop the aggro so the next wave can walk forward. And now I can basically flush on top of the Cassante or the. Tom Kench, whenever you get level 2, and it's game over. Because there's no flash, remember? All level 1 preparation again. So now I'm going to stand backwards a little bit to give this guy a false sense of security. This wave is actually pushing into me, if you guys are paying attention. So Tom Kench is down in XP, down in HP, and the wave is kind of... Nah, no, it, it will push to him. So he's standing very far away, so I can't do much, but he's also not allowed to farm here. Okay, I shouldn't give him sustain like that, though. He instantly has very high sustain. Okay, he got his level 2, all good. I need two melees and this caster to get my level three. There's one. And there's two. He's not allowed to farm still. He's reacting well by standing so far away though. Now I'll do a four-wave crash. So, he's losing the cannon here, I think. No, he's not. Lucky. I can proxy the next wave here, too. I don't have the best... Oh, he lost the cannon. That's so massive. And now I can proxy next wave and set up my reset. Unless enemy jungler is here, which could be the case, since... Yeah, he is here. He is, he is he's ghost. No flush. I'm gonna focus that guy. He uses W already too early. And game over. Now I focus the Mordekaiser, because he has no flush. Easy target. He's ghost. Game over. How much for a coaching session, please? Crystal Dog, I am not doing any individual coaching sessions right now. I am sorry, boss man. However, and I can highly recommend you to check out both of my courses. They will teach you pretty much like almost every concept that I would explain to you in the coachings, but it's in a course format. So personal coaching of course, it's going to be more personalized to your games, but I'm guaranteeing you that it will instantly increase your structure to the overall game. However, if you want to wait, I'll reopen coaching after Korea, probably. Aloy's lover first time message. Good to see you, boss. 
Now the wave is pushing back into me. Tom Kench has no flesh. All I want to do here is thin out this wave, match my level 5, and look for trades. First I, <clears throat> first I gotta do is check his items. He bought a rune crystal, no potions. So I am going to have to sustain edge now. In the sense that if I take an equal HP trade, I'm gonna have two potions. He has no potions. Thin out the wave, get the level 5, and look to trade. Okay, now we're level 5, now we can trade. Right, Crystal Dog, you can send me a DM on Discord. See if we can figure something out. Alright. I'm gonna hold the wave here. And this Tom Kench is perpetually forced to walk up for last hits. If he ever makes a misstep here, I can basically do a pretty hard trade-out to him. And now I'm also waiting for my level 6. Once I'm level 6, I'll kill him, guaranteed. But preferably, I do some small trades before that. So that once I'm level 6, the kill is like guaranteed. Okay, nice hit. But now, Tom Kench has no flash, he's half HP, no potions, so the HP trait here is good, and that's intentional, because I have potions, he does not. Wave is still pushing player. into me, next wave gets me level 6, I'll flash on top of him, game over. Joe Forex, thank you for gifting Aloy's lover. You look like a dolphin, smart like one too. So long has worn thank you? I think? What sound does a dolphin make? Oh, this Tom Kench actually reset, that guy is bigger discipline than I do. What the hell? Alright, then I'll slow push this wave, I'll push next up my reset. Wave will bounce back into me, I can perpetually hold the freeze again, because Tom Kench has no wave flare. That means Tom Kench is not going to be able to collect this, hard push this, and next wave to get it to crash into my turret. So, by me hard pushing this and instantly recalling, I'm not gonna stay for the plate, because I will already get my pickaxe anyways, I don't need anything else. I can set up my reset, and we're gonna be in an amazing position. Lightspeed, thank you for the tier 1. My day thus far is amazing. So now Tom Kench has to collect this and the next wave and push up this wave before it were to crash into my turret. Again, it's Tom Kench. He has no wave flare. That is his weakness. We run back. GG. Today we talked to the most calculating and one of the most consistent Riven players in the entire Green Arrow, thank you for the prime as well. Yo, Luffy Wow, my third recommendation to that pool would be Dr. Mundo. Good to see you, boss. Hope to see you more around. Okay, now I want to look for a similar position. Do look for one equal health trait or like one good trait and then look to all in him. Because I have massive item advantage, I'm level 6. He's gonna hit level 6 very soon too though. And uh, I have my flesh ignite. He doesn't have his flesh yet. We're 30 cents up though, so we can also keep expanding our lead through that. Also this play this didn't die, very nice. Very lucky too though. Okay, let's keep up what we're doing. That's the one trade I want. Now I gotta dodge the Q. I AoE the entire wave. That was a kind of a mistake there, because now the wave is actually... Yeah, it's gonna push back into it, because I AoE the entire wave. But he's gonna Q this. Wow, he had flush again. I think he lives, yeah. All good, though. Because the thing right now is, is even though it's like, okay, I lost the kill, but I'm can just to reset. So he's losing two waves, and I'm getting two plates. So two plates is 250 gold. Him losing two waves is like 200 gold. So even though he lives, it, it actually doesn't matter. Like him dying there, it's, a, it's an extra. But him, like him getting to 1 HP and having to leave, is kind of a similar result. And now we get Eclipse. And even though I have not solo killed this Tom Kench, I'm up two plates. I'm up 40 CS. And, uh, yeah, you don't need solo kills. This guy is playing extremely respectful to the pressure I'm putting. The only kill I, of course, had was on the on the Mordekaiser, but yeah, now We're in an amazing position. Okay. My entire team is serving as well, so it's gonna be easy. Why by last hitting at the last second, the freeze still breaks? That's because I AoE the wave and my means are stronger. If you click on my means, you see they're 2% stronger. Slow push this wave, hard push next. And then maybe proxy, see what we can do. We gotta prioritize the cannon, yeah? What conflict is is Riven doomed next patch? I would sincerely hope not, because next patch we're going to Korea. So, uh, I would hope Riven is not doomed. But we'll be in Korea for two, two patches. And I get this. I don't need to kill Tom Kench to expand my lead. 
All I gotta do is get the plate and get the next wave. Mordekar is his mid, so I'm not have to be scared of that guy. Plus, he hasn't recalled in a while, so I don't have to be scared of him in general. And you see here, even though I'm not killing the Tom Kench, I'm expanding my lead. Because Tom Kench is not able to match the gold income that I'm getting. And now by proxy, I gain tempo. I don't think I can kill this guy, so I'll reset. So refillable, get CDR boost, and we're good. And now we're gonna be able to expand the lead. Beautifully. They are nerfing Eclipse and the Sky, so how is it not killing Riven? I don't understand. I mean, it's bad, yes, but I don't go Eclipse on the Sky every game. Uh, the items are gonna be nerfed, but they're not gonna be useless. We still have Cleaver as a decent item, and they are buffing Death Stance, which is one of the best items for Riven. Death Stance is my favorite item. Am I going with solo? No. It's to be decided tonight which streamers are joining. I kind of want to, like, get confirmation of everything. And then, uh, let's see how, and, yeah, how it goes, basically. Same thing, if this Tom Kench just hugs his turret, right? So many people always ask me, how do I play against people that just hug their turret? Well, I don't have to kill them to expand my lead. I'm just gonna get the wave, and then I'm gonna get plates, and that's how I will be expanding my lead. He's playing aggressive now randomly, so maybe Mordecai is here. Or he just randomly wanted to die. Mordecai was bot. I don't know why he was randomly playing aggressive. I don't know why Mordecai is recalled in 50 years. But all good. They're nerfing Sterox too. I wasn't buying Sterox too often. But it's also a benefit for me, right? So, so yes, there's two ways to approach this, right? Yes, it sucks for Riven that this guy's getting nerfed. But it's also gonna nerf every jungle that builds it. It's also gonna look like... Like, those items are getting nerfed for everybody, not only for Riven. Trying to get back into ranked, but I care too much of the outcome to the point where I get afraid of playing. Any tips? Um... Nonlux, thank you for the first message in your 100 bits. Um, so this is all mental, right? right? Um, there's a lot of things to, to go about here. First things first is... What are you playing League of Legends for? Are you playing to have fun? Are you playing to improve? Are you playing to get higher? Um, and, and then the second question you have to ask yourself is... Why do you, I mean, be, like, carrying out of the... Out, okay, no. I think the first question is, why are you playing League for? That's really good to establish. Are you playing League to have fun, or are you playing League to like, get better? And, and, and that is your fun, right? If, if it's the second, then... Let's say you're playing League to... Um, to get better, right? Then, I would be fine making... Mistakes and learning... I mean, actually, no, the, you, you phrase your question a little different. Let me focus here for one second. You phrase your question a little different, because you say you're scared of the outcome, not per se your performance. That's maybe also where the answer is though. I would focus more on your performance instead of the outcome, because if you're gonna hyper-focus on your performance, eventually the outcome will be better too, if that makes sense. So I would switch your focus from focusing on the outcome to focusing on your performance. That's probably what I would recommend you. You're Drania. I hope that gives you something to work with. I'm not sure what else to advise you. Because you say you only care about the outcome. I'm permanently just broken the Eclipse and then e out as well. I'm waiting for level 11 and then I can pretty much one-shot him. We both have flesh. And I can also just expand my lead by roaming. Maybe getting a turret or something like this. This guy should have a lot of gold in his base. He's hiding that E. I think Jenna cancelled her Q. Oh, that was a good flush. Yeah, he got a full item. <laughs> Yo, Riot. Hope you won, bro. I'm slow pushing this, or like not pushing this right now. So that I allow the next wave, this one, to walk past the turret so I can farm it in, like, in a comfortable position without having to be under the turret. So this uh, also applies to side laning, right? Where you slow push into hard push. Have I noticed a massive surge in range top laners this season? No, not per se. It's just meta bound. For example, last season I saw a lot of cannon players. I haven't seen a single cannon this season, so... It's very dependent on meta, I think. I haven't necessarily seen uh, more range tops. I think last season I saw more range tops with Varus and um, Kenan, but now you have Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate top is very, very common. 
And the Vayne is still very common. You'll definitely see them, but I don't think there's like a significant decrease where it matters too much. Okay, I need this amount of gold and then we're good. Alright. Host Gaming, sell me your course, bro. What do you mean? Like, 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 sell me the spend type strategy? I want to reset here and go bot. Are you going to watch him aside? No, probably not. But yeah, boy, my trip was absolutely amazing. I appreciate it. Okay, host gaming. After this game, I'll sell you my course, okay? Give me a second. I want to focus on closing out this game, and then, uh, then, I'll, then I'll do the yapping session. And why I believe my courses are amazing. Alright, she's Borg, no flash. That sounded like a rap. No flash, right? Piggy! As a former pro player, do I like to watch other teams play? It's just that I, that I don't have the time. I, I feel like I like the hours in the day to... to, to I, I watch MSI if I'm eating lunch or something, but... Other than that, I'm not gonna sit there and watch full professional games. I just don't have the time in the day. I'm recording videos, I'm streaming, I'm making guides, I am going to the gym. Um, I want to spend some time walking, like, outside of my screen, so I, I just don't find the time to full study the... Official games anymore. When I was a professional player, I used to watch like almost every region that it would matter to me to just get inspiration and just learn, right? But I kind of outgrown that now. My Q3 animation was so wonky there. So you're saying we're all bums? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I said, bro. Yo, 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 yo. That's exactly what I was saying there. Yes. Why did my Q legit sidestep that right there? Kind of crazy. I like how you just took the words out of my mouth and changed it to something completely different. We're going in, baby! Like I said, you do not need to get solo kills just to get ahead. In fact, I'm probably... I mean, I probably have one of the most gold in my teammates. Yeah, sorry. Um, Ezra got that 808. I'll answer your question in a second, too. Alright, let's just finish up this game. Oh. I saw the sky, though, at Eclipse. And Triumph. Dude, but, like, my demon's also completely surfing, no? Like, every team actually just did not stand a chance. And it wasn't, like, it wasn't even the top lane that mattered here that much. Like, the rest of my team made them go 2-20. and 20. How's your gym experience going? Amazing! I've been going consistent for one and a half months now. So, there's that. Okay. So, I answered two questions. First things first. Sell me your course. I don't have a pitch prepared, but I go like this. Usually, what I was doing was give people... Like, one-on-one, -on -one personalized coaching. I was always doing that. I've kind of refrained from it right now. Uh, I will do it again in the future. But what I've done instead is spend the time to set up two courses. One for the laning phase, one for the mid to late. To basically teach you guys all the concepts that I've learned over the past eight years. Being a challenger, League of Legends player, and professional player. So, my goal with the courses is similar money, to coaching money. sessions. Thank you for the five. Hi, Alois. Found your channel recently. You interrupted my speech! are the best. But they were fine. not the only. Real guides for playing top lane in 2024. I appreciate it. Do you feel this undercuts your paid content at all? Many streamers try to gatekeep their best info, no, etc. I don't. Because I'm very confident 
in my teachings. I can teach you guys and show you guys concepts while I'm playing and explaining them. But, of course, the courses will still have the best information with, like, the best, uh, what's it called? Um, examples, right? But, but I'll, I'll, I'll finish the pitch. I'll finish the pitch. Favorite 100.